generate a photo of a wine glass completely full. Here's an image of a wine glass completely full to the brim. That is not full to the brim. Here's the updated image with the wine filled to the very brim. Maybe it's only ChatGPT. Generate a photo of a wine glass completely full. Sure, here's an image of a wine glass completely full. I want it so full that the wine is flowing over the glass. There's wine coming out of the glass, but the glass is still not full. So I guess Gemini is not the answer. Let's try Grok. Generate a photo of a wine glass completely full. Those are half full. I want it overflowing full. Listen, we've seen AI do amazing things, right? Mind-blowing art, poetry that can make you cry, conversations that feel, well, almost human. It feels like AI can do almost anything, and then you ask it to draw a simple wine glass, fill to the brim, and suddenly our super smart AI completely misses the mark, like really misses the mark. Is it just wine glasses? And before we get into today's topic, don't forget to subscribe because it is completely free and I covered the latest and greatest AI news. But AI can create some pretty incredible stuff. So here we asked it to generate a photorealistic landscape and our image looks pretty awesome. It does look realistic. If we keep scrolling down, we said create a wine glass sitting in sand on the beach. And there is our wine glass sitting in sand on the beach. But a wine glass with liquid at the very top, it stumbles. To understand why and how this is happening, we have to understand how AI learns. AI image generators are basically super powered pattern detectors. They learn by seeing millions of images all neatly labeled. Think about it like showing a baby a bunch of flashcards, but on a massive scale. They see a ton of wine glasses, mostly empty or that are normally filled, which is the halfway point. So just a quick Google search and you can see what I'm talking about. If we said wine glass is full, here is the data that it gets trained on, which it determines is a full glass of wine. So that is their training data. That is their experience of the world. Think about you and I right now. All of our knowledge comes from our experience. Stop what you're doing right now and try to think of a new color. You can't do it. We see colors, we see shapes, we see textures, we see patterns. These are our impressions that we see. Our mind creates an idea based off the impression that we saw, and we create a weaker copy of the original in our mind. For an AI system, its impressions is the millions of pictures that it gets trained on. So it has not been able to see a wine glass completely full, or it sees very few of them. It's not able to form that idea that the glass can be fuller than what it thinks it can be. We can say generate a wine glass with only a teaspoon of wine in it, and you can see it struggles with this as well. There is a lot more than a teaspoon. We can also say generate a wine glass completely full with orange juice, and again, this is what it deems completely full. We have the ability to create abstract concepts in our mind. We can understand almost full, full, overflowing, just a drop, half full, so on and so forth. Even if we haven't seen this perfectly visualized in a real life, we can form the abstract concept in our mind. However, AI in its current form is much more reliant on raw data. So the wine glass is tricky. How about something even simpler? Generate a photo of an empty room with absolutely no elephants. So this is ChatGPT and we can see the elephant in the image. We have Mid Journey here, which generated four pictures of rooms with elephants in it. And we also have Meta AI, which created an image of an empty room without an elephant, just a big massive elephant head. Models are trained on images that contain things within the image, They're trained to recognize and detect presence within the image. Data representing nothing or absence of something isn't something that AI has been trained with. So although the image is supposed to be a room without an elephant, it can't grasp the concept of nothing. Just like the wine glass filled to the brim, there are likely very few, if any, in its training set explicitly labeled as pictures of no elephants, making it hard for it to generate that. It shows us that AI, while incredible at pattern recognition, might be missing something like true conceptual understanding, the kind that allows us to imagine a wine glass completely filled to the top or a room without an elephant. Wine glass example is just the latest trend in AI image generation and something that people go back and forth with trying to get it to generate that image. I am sure there are thousands more of these examples. If you have any, leave a comment down below. It's always fun to see where AI struggles and where and how they will improve it over time. 
And to think we are just starting to scratch the surface of the world of AI and how it thinks and learns. If you're curious to explore more questions about AI, be sure to subscribe because it is completely free and I cover the latest and greatest AI on a week to week basis. Can't wait to dive into more of these topics in a future video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Lives, videos, news, and stories to share.